Now, we're going to add the seventh. We are in, still in the C, key of C. We're going to start in C and then go to other keys because, once again, it's a formula. It's up to you to practice and make it your own and go into different keys. Now, here's the seven. After we've added the, the first, third, fifth, we're going to add a seven, starting in C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sounds kind of muffled, right? So we're going to go over here, change up our settings. Or you can bring it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the same way that you can flat the third, you can also flat the seven. So I've taken the seven and flatted it. It almost sounds like your mom's outside. So you're gonna flat the seven, or you can keep it, keep it major. Flats, uh, when you have it like that, it's called a major seven. When you play it the regular way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you flat it, the seven, it's called a dominant seven. You're gonna flat the seven there. And that's a, a typical chord that we use in, in gospel music. So keep trying it, and whatever style of music that you're playing, it's okay, it's still all the same principle. And just make it your own, try it in different keys. Let's say we're in uh, E flat. One, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the way it feels, the way it sounds. And you flat the seven. Play around with it, you'll get it.